हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ सिरीज आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू ट्री डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स इन दिस करंट व्हिडिओ आय एम ट्राईंग टू कवर द प्री ऑर्डर बायनरी ट्री ट्रॅव्हर्सल अँड इट्स इंट्रोडक्शन हाऊ वी कॅन ट्रॅव्हर्स द ट्री इन प्री ऑर्डर बिफोर मुव्हिंग टू द कंटेंट आय वुड लाईक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू to please subscribe my channel tech talks and keep the bell ringing now let's see what are different tree traversal before that what is tree traversal actually so tree traversal is nothing but one way in which we can display the tree data structure basically tree is a non linear data structure and to display the tree or any non linear data structure it is having different ways in which we can display it displaying is nothing but also called as traversing the tree data structure these are different ways in which we can traverse the tree they are the first one is depth first traversal and the another one is breadth first traversal if you want to know in detail about all these things i am providing you a shortcut link in this write up corner where it will give you the details about tree traversal here let's start with the pre order traversal so in this depth first traversal from these different techniques we can go through the pre order traversal in order traversal and post order traversal where in pre order traversal we have to first of all process the root node then left child and then right child that's why this is called as pre order traversal if it is in order traversal then we need to process first of all left then in between root node and then at the end right so in between that's why this is in order and post order means at the end of the left and right child so these are the names are given according to the position of root node and it goes in depth that's why the name is given to this type of traversal is depth first traversal now let's start with the pre order traversal what is pre order traversal so pre order traversal where we need to follow the sequence starting from the root node then process the left subtree and then at the end process the right subtree this sequence we have to follow root left right then what the steps we need to follow in rough i am going to explain you the steps that we need to follow that we need to start from a root node after root we need to process the left subtree of the tree and then we need to go back to the root again go back to root again it means from the left subtree the, we will make the left child of the root as a current or new root node and then we need to process it again as considering a root node now after processing all the left part of the tree we will start to go to move to right subtree after moving to the right subtree make that right subtree as a root again and then process it and then start with whether the tree is having its left subtree or not and so on continuously you need to perform this task repeatedly till you are traversing all the elements of the tree now let's forward go forward for the simple example where if i am having this tree with me where it is having a root it is having a left child and it is having a right child root node is a left child of uh, root node a left child of root node a is b and right child of root node a is c if i want to traverse this particular tree in pre order traversal then it will traverse in the way like first of all the 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 sequence in pre order is first of all process the root that's why a will get processed first process means display we are displaying the elements one by one so we will process the root a first then we will process or we will go to the left subtree or a left child which is b make this b as a root node and process it so i will display b then move to the right subtree so after moving to the right subtree process 
C as a root node that is C. So in this way for this simple tree a short tree the pre-order reversal will be a root node A, left child B and a right child C. So in this way A then B and then C. In this way we will pre-order the pre-order traverse the tree. Now let's move forward for the detailed explanation about pre-order traversal. Now let's start with the root node. First of all we need to process the root node. After processing it we need to check whether that root is having any left child or not. If the left child is present then we need to step down to that left child and after that what we need to do we are at the left child of the root node. Now make this left child as a root node and start it again the previous process that is make this as a make this left child as a root node and the process the root node again. So now as making the left child as a root node process the left, uh, root node again and then go again for the left child if it is present. Now let's consider left child is not present for the tree and that's why move forward to the right subtree. If the right subtree is present move to the right subtree or step down to the right child or a right subtree. Now make that right child as a root node and perform all the task again that is that right child which is now current a root node process that root node then after processing it check whether it is having a left child if it is present then follow the steps again like move to the or step down to the left child make it as a root and process it and again check for a left child if it is not present then step down to the right child if present then that right child make it as a root and process the root node and again check for its left child if not present check for a right child repeatedly you need to perform all these tasks until you will be processed all the nodes which are present in your tree now i am going to explain you all these things with the help of example now let's consider this is the binary tree which we are having and that we want to traverse so first of all what we need to do we need to consider this tree where this 10 is a root node which one is our first step first step is to process the root node so processing means display here i am processing this root node and after processing it we are going to display it now after that what is my step number two before that here i am uh, displaying the uh, all the nodes or the root nodes which we are processing so let's now this is the node which we are going to process sorry for outside disturbance now let's continue now let's check whether the left child is present for the node root node 10 or not yes it is present now if it is present what we need to do we need to step down to the left child so we here we are stepping down to the left child and now we are considering this sub tree only where we are making 20 as a root node 20 as a root node means we need to process the root node processing means we are displaying it and after that let's check whether the left child is present or not here you can see that the left child is not present if left child is not present then we need to check for the right child for the root node current root node 20 whether the left right child is present or not yes the right child is present so what we need to do the next thing if the right child is present we need to step down to the right child and make this as a subtree where 30 will be your root node so process the root node after processing it we need to display it after displaying it we need to check whether 30 is having a left child yes 30 is having a left child 30 is having a left child means this subtree we are going to consider where 50 will be a root node and that we need to process so after processing let's check whether the 50 is having its left child no 50 is having a right child no 
then what we need to do we need to go back now 30 is going to become your root node because still its right sub tree is remaining so when 30 is going to become a root node where we have done with the left sub tree now it's it's time to process the right sub tree so check whether the right child is present or not yes for 30 the right child is present step down to the right child after stepping down to the right child make this as a root node now 60 is going to become a root node after making this 60 as a root node process the root node display it and check for its left child if the left child is present then step down to the left but left child is not present check for the right child here we have done with the left child checking no child is present then go for the right child checking whether the right child is present or not the right child is not present then we need to step backward by making 10 as a root node so now 10 as a root node what does it mean 10 as a root node means we have done we have processed all the left subtree for the root node 10 now the right subtree is remaining check whether the right subtree is present or not yes it is present step down to the right subtree make this as a root node process the root node and check for the right subtree sorry left subtree the left subtree is not present right subtree is also not present for the root node 40 what does it mean it means that the 40 is a leaf node after processing it you can check here all the nodes we have processed in the given tree and this is the pre-order traversal for the given tree that is starting from the root node 10 we process to the left child of 10 that is 20 we processed it first of all that is we have displayed the 20 then let's check for the left child no left child is present check for the right child yes right child is present move to 30 and make 30 as a root node process it so we have processed 30 for 30 let's check whether the left child is present yes the left child is present make it as root and process it let's check for left child no left child check for right child no right child then move backward to check whether the 30 is having its right child yes 30 is having right child process uh, a step down to the right child 60 60 is going to become as a root node and process it 60 is processed check for 60 is left child not present 60 is right child not present go backward now here you are going backward it means that here 10 is going to become a root node again for 10 we have done with its left subtree now it's turn to process the right subtree yes the right subtree is present and 40 is going to become a root node as 40 is a root node process it first of all and then check whether the 40 is having left child no 40 is having right child no so in this way we have done with the pre-order traversal of the binary tree so thank you friends for listening and watching my video i hope you are understanding the concept of pre-order traversal if you like the content of my video please like my video and please do not forget to give the comment here i am providing you the subscription link where you can subscribe my channel i am providing you a shortcut for the subscription as well as here i am providing the shortcut for the next video of this video series and for whole video series i am providing you a playlist for your reference Thank you friends and stay tuned with my channel Tech Talks. Thank you.